What's up, it's LJ here at Techo6 at YouTube.com, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Mac X iPhone Mounter um, program from Jadarti Max X DVD website. So, what this program is, actually, I'm going to first state that um, they did contact me and they did ask me to do a review and a giveaway of these softwares. I'm going to be doing three videos here, um, three different softwares. This one's going to be first. I'm going to hit the next two like right after this and I'm just going to get them pumped out so you guys can see them, take a look, hop into the the giveaway and let's just get this all done so I can start pumping out new videos and doing more views, more giveaways, everything you guys love, um, all that kind of stuff. So I'm just going to jump straight into this so we can get it done. So the Mac X iPhone mounter. So simply put, you're making your iPhone a portable hard drive. So say you're at work, you need to transfer some files onto your say your thumb drive but you forget it at home and you're like oh no what do I do well you've got this portable hard drive now that you wouldn't normally be able to use because it's an iPhone right so you download this software onto that computer you plug in your iPhone it's got this little USB drop storage thing you click on it you click add throw all your files on there bring it home then just export it off it's pretty much that simple guys so we're gonna quickly run over some things on it mm, right here is pretty much all it says is what I just told you really quickly. Um, the iPhone mounter lets you remove the iTunes, iTunes limitation and it's an ultimate upgrade for your iOS devices by transferring music, movies, and images. Uh, the one problem I'm having with it is once I add the, the files onto the iPhone, I'm not necessarily able to use those files. So I mean it's not really something you can replace for iTunes, it's just something for storage. So I just wanted to point that out right away guys, just making sure. Um, Right now, the program is going for $25.95. I am going to be doing a giveaway, like I said. Um, there will be a couple copies of this software, a couple copies of the other one, um, and a couple copies of the third one, which I'm doing. You guys can also download it and give it a 30-day trial. Um, but anyways, I'm going to be doing the giveaway, so I mean, why not just hop in and get this program? If you don't like it, then just give it to one of your friends kind of thing. Let them have the code instead. But really, just make sure to comment, rate, and subscribe, and then... We'll be doing more giveaways and better stuff, uh, more stuff, stuff like that, right? Um, so I'm just going to quickly run over these features. Whew, Mac X iPhone mounter is the main feature, or this is the main features. Transfer video, audio, photo, photo files from the iPhone, iPad, iPod, iPad to Mac. Um, mount iPhone as a hard disk and copy video to Apple devices, just like I said. Um, support all generations of iPhone, iPod, and iPad, and they're always constantly upgrading their iPhone, or all of their, like, software that's compatible with their program or with their software. Um, backup photos, videos shot by the device. Quickly view device information. Filter and search files on device. Um, you can support multiple iOS devices at the same time. Easy to use and fast video transfer speed. It is actually got some quite trans quite good transfer speed. Um, preview files before transfer and just like I said they constantly upgrade, upgrade their software to work with all new iOS devices. So I'm just gonna open up the program here which is iPhone mounter down here so this is what's gonna well it's gonna look like this when you start when you open it up um, you're gonna plug in your iPhone it's gonna look pretty much just like iTunes does just right there I didn't wanna that's awkward because it's got my name there anyways but whatever um, so iTunes everything's right there just like you would an iPhone mounter it's just gonna show up right here comes down at the bottom it took me a couple minutes like three or four minutes for it to load because I do have only four gigs of space left on a 32 gig so it's like, oh, I got a lot of information to upload. So it took two to three minutes. Um, pulled up all my pictures. I'm not really going to click it because there's pictures on there that are probably not best to show the world, if you will. <laughs> Anyways, the way it works is you've got this USB storage button here at the bottom. Uh, they don't have that on iTunes. If you come down here to uh, music, movies, TV shows, books, tunes, and then just some crap there that... It's not actually what it says, don't worry guys, don't worry. But, that's how it works for iTunes, and come over here and they got the USB storage, right? So I did just try and throw some music in there to see if it would actually play on my iPhone, which it doesn't, but I'm not sure if I did that wrong or not. But the way it works is you've got, I'm going to close this guy's right here. So you got your software, and you've got, say... Um, a picture, a couple pictures, another music thing, 
So everything just quickly loads straight onto your device, right? So now it's just stored in your device as a hard hard copy, so you can bring it home from work or over to a friend's house and load it onto their computer type thing. So that's pretty much drag and drop, just like I said, and back. See? Uh, I thought so. Where'd it go? Oh, I need to export it. So we're going to go quickly in command. Expand this bad boy. Or not. Hey, there we go. I don't know how I did it, but it exported it. Yep, so the exporting works. So, okay. So, right now we're taking a look at exporting this stuff. I just paused it for a minute there while I was trying to figure this out. So the way it's going to work here is I'm just going to create a new file right here, a new folder. Where is it? There we go, untitled folder. I'm going to go to export. Sorry, I need to click some files. Hmm. Okay, so I'm just going to click this guy right here, Made in America. I'm going to click export. I'm going to go to desktop, untitled folder, open. Takes like two seconds, open this folder, boom, it's right there. So it's easy as that, guys. Um, this is pretty much the software. It's just for moving um, pieces of information back and forth or small programs, stuff like that. I wouldn't necessarily use it for, say, like 100 gigs of music. That might take a while, but if you're just going to be doing moving some quick files, uh, some movies, stuff like that, it's actually quite fast for that. Um, this has been this software, guys. Remember to comment, rate, and subscribe. Again, thanks for Jajarti for contacting me and letting me do this review and giveaway. Um, remember to comment, rate, and subscribe again. Have a good one, guys.